Hello, YouTube family, my friends, subscribers who want to give us a shout out to my subscribers. Thank you for your support. This video is about Ethereum's Constantinople hard fork delay due to discovery of critical bug. Now, this is important news due to the fact that many people were looking to get into Ethereum just because the price was very attractive at this point in time. But this new, this new uh, hard fork does not seem to be appealing. I mean, the news that's around it, there's a lot of, I mean, it could be FUD, but just the possibility of getting rid of miners um, can leave the network vulnerable. Um, people that are, are staking Ethereum, if you have more, you're going to be, basically, you're going to be chosen to be the one to verify transactions. So it's a lot, it's, it's going to be different. It's going to be proof of stake. So certainly different. Um, so back to this article I want to go over. Uh, the blockchain security firm Chain Security announced that they discovered a critical bug in Ethereum's code changes for the Constantinople upgrade. Also leaves contracts vulnerable to attacks and could lead to loss of user funds. This is definitely not great news for Ethereum. I hope that... You know, there's another chance for, for anyone that's watching. Hopefully there's another chance you can get out. I don't know if it's going to pump and go back up. But I just don't I don't see it uh, happening. It doesn't seem to be any news about any type of hack. Uh, this was just a security firm uh, doing their check. Uh, basically, the chain security, they offer three types of services, which is uh, smart contract audits. Uh, they are a security audit platform and they do security monitoring. So what they found is listed here. Constantinople enables new re-entry attack. Here's a summary of the critical vulnerability that chain security has discovered. So, quote, uh, the up upcoming Constantinople upgrade for the Ethereum network introduces cheaper gas costs, which is a good thing uh, for certain S store operations as an unwanted side effect. This enables re-entry attack when using address transfer address send. So it looks like that is where the issue lies. And apparently before it was safe, but now they're claiming that it's not. So we will have to wait and see what happens from there. It looks like um, the Ethereum Foundation announced today that they are postponing it temporarily uh, to resolve this issue so if anyone and they also released a statement I am not going to go over that at the moment <clears throat> I'll leave I'll leave uh, the article in the link and the link the article link in the description below so if you're interested please take a look at it um, and yeah if if you know, if this isn't enough evidence for you to kind of get out of um, Ethereum, then obviously do your due diligence and do your research. I actually just got into a couple uh, uh, Ethereum D apps, uh, Hyper Dragons and Ethereumon. So good thing I don't have too much money in there at the moment. So I'm going to just I'm going to continue to play them and hopefully gain some more and hope that Ethereum does do better this year um because i'm not really i'm not really liking the direction it's going i thought last year it should have done better so uh, please leave a comment in the description uh, sorry not in the description but leave a comment if you have any questions if you have any input please let me know uh and stay tuned please hit that like subscribe button thank you guys take care aaron bent here and out